To write the name for Fe3N2, we first need to realize that we have a metal and nonmetal here. So when we have metals and nonmetals bonded together, that's an ionic compound. So we're going to write the name considering this as an ionic compound, and we're going to use these rules. First, we'll name the metal as it appears on the periodic table. Fe, that's iron. Next, we name the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table. N is nitrogen, lowercase n, and we replace the ending with IDE. So at this point, we have iron nitride. But iron is a transition metal. That means it can have different ionic charges based on what it's bonded to. Here it's bonded to the nitrogen. So let's look at the charge on the nitrogen from the periodic table. So nitrogen right here has a three minus ionic charge. So let's put that up there, three minus. That's each nitrogen has a three minus ionic charge. Two times three minus, that's six minus. So we need a six plus over here to give a net charge of zero. Three times two plus, that would give us six plus. So the charge here on the iron is two plus. And because of that, we write a Roman numeral two after the iron to show that this iron has a two plus ionic charge. So the name for Fe3N2 is iron two nitride. And the two tells us the ionic charge on each of these irons. So each of these irons, two plus ionic charge. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.